Hello everyone, welcome back to the Twisted Rats Gaming YouTube channel. And on today's episode of Cartoon Project, I Coyote Swap at 240. And I am out of gas. And that's the gas station, right there where that cop is. Come on, car, you can do it. Come on. Alright, well, if you ever want to win at a game like this, just get an overpowered 240 and just drive it backwards the whole race. I'm not getting passed anymore. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Twisted Rats Gaming at YouTube channel. Um, I have not played this game in a long time, the uh, Cartoon Project game. Um, there has been uh, quite a bit of updates for this game since I have played it last, and trust me, I think you guys are going to like it. So let's dive right in here. I don't know if you guys remember this car, but this is actually the first car I built on this game for you guys. Uh, it was the pizza delivery racer uh, that I made. I could have swore I had... TRG on the side here, but I might be thinking of a different car. I'm not entirely sure, but um, yeah, I beat the ever living crap out of this thing out on the racetrack. This game is still evolving every day, it's getting better and better. But um, let me dive into the catalog here and I will show you guys what you guys probably already know, but nevertheless, let's take a look. All right, so here we are in the parts catalog. Now, I am not a hey, this is how you do this kind of game. I don't really want to be an informative channel I just want to play the game but this is part of the game so we have a parts a better more revised uh, the catalog system here which the compatibility tab works a little bit better but check out what we have now we have a V8 and check this out it actually does say coyote and that it will be in the thumbnail so it's not clickbait this is an actual coyote now, from the looks of it and from my knowledge of engines, this is a Ford engine. This is probably an actual Coyote engine. Yeah, see, there's the uh, knock sensor holes. At least I think that's what that is. Nope, that's the spark knock sensor holes. There and there. All right, enough geek talk, but no, we have a variety of colors. We can uh, have these in. Not the most vibrant colors, more like watercolors, but hey, that's fine. I don't care. This is still cool. Um, but let's see here. We need to find a car to stick this in is what we need to do. So we have, let's see, a road legal engine, uh, cylinders eight. Hang on. I could have swore it told me, ah, compatibility. Thank you for that information. Um, man, I could have swore it told me like the cubic inches on it. I could have swore it said like a 5.2 liter V8 version V8 X. I think we might be doing this. Now, I've never built one of these before in real life or in the game, so it'll be a learning experience for both you and I. Um, so, let's go pick us out a car real quick. Okay, so here we are in first person mode at the junkyard. I wish we could just walk up to the car and it'll give us the info on it. I think this was like a Monbazoo style BMW. Um, no, I think we're going to pass on that one. Ooh, I like the color on this one, but again, this is kind of beat to hell. I kind of want something... I have built so many cars in this game, I don't know, I'm not really in the mood to do like a full like hammer out restoration. I'm, I've always been fond of these cars, but this is missing way too much crap. Ooh, a Katera, with a four cylinder in it. These cars actually came with uh, V6s and V8s over in Australia, and ooh, I like the color, but it, yet again, it's missing too much stuff. Why don't we check out the used car dealership and uh, see what that has to offer. I love the ability to walk around. It's really cool. Man, it'd be nice if we could steal parts off of these. Crap, I totally forgot this guy talked. I think this would be an awesome candidate, but uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did go through and see which cars that uh, the V8... I wish I could turn him off. Uh, I don't think the V8 can actually fit in this car. Nevertheless, this is a really nice car. I wish I could take this home with me, but um, this isn't. Alright, shut the hell up. That car's not going to work for what we're wanting to do, so I'm going to bounce around a little bit until I find something that I think we can use. So I've stumbled across this car here. I really like it, but I feel like you guys want something with a little bit more. Can I turn him off, please? Um, I feel like you guys want something with a little bit more flash to it, so I'm going to pass on that one. I can always come back. You know, there's only like a couple cars in this game that can even take the V8 engine, at least as far as I know. I just know that this one doesn't take it, and the little front-wheel drive cars can't take it either. How sick would that be? 
coyote powered pink Volkswagen. <laughs> God. Come on, man, shut the hell up. Okay, finally, guys, after about 10 minutes of looking, I finally found a car. I found ourselves a 240. Um, is it SX or just 240? I don't know. I, I don't remember exactly what these are called, but either way, I found one. It's complete. Um, I know you guys like the ground up uh, restorations, but uh, this would just be a lot easier on me to just take one engine out and put one back in. But hey, here we are. Um, let's go ahead and take this off for now. Um, wow, we have an engine in here. Why am I? There we go. That's a little better. So I think that's some kind of V6. I think this is like based off of the GTR 270Z motor, something like that. Um, but we're going to be out with the old and with the new. Actually, you know what? Before we do all that, let's test this thing. Let's see how it drives already. First things first, let's take it to the dyno. See how much uh, stock power it makes. The hood being off uh, gives it more horsepower. They must have changed the car sounds in here. But let's see, we have 320 horsepower at 7,500 RPM and 243 numeric. I don't know what the hell it is. It's not foot-pounds of torque, so I don't know. So, let's see here. We need to beat 320 horsepower. Now, I'm going to show you guys a neat little trick. Um, you know how you have to like pull every single like little part off of this stupid thing? Yeah, we're going to uh, not do that. I'm going to use this guy right here. Yes, I would love to take the engine out. Bam, just like that, engine is out. So that means we can go straight into, oh wait, I think I screwed up already. And, yep, I screwed up already. No, I don't know how or why, but whenever you yank the motor out like that, the uh, drive shaft and transmission disappear. Um, that's on me, but hey, oh well. Let's see here, parts catalog, engine components, engine blocks. No engine. So this will not show any parts compatibility because there's no engine in the car yet. So we're going to go with the street tuned. I believe it said 5.2 liter, but it doesn't tell me here. It tells me somewhere else. We're just going to keep a stock look on her here. Actually want aluminum look. All right. So we're going to buy that $3,400. I have like $137,000 uh, budget here. Okay. I guess... Plop that in there. Actually, what I'm gonna do is, is this. I know this is like basically a free engine down here, but hey, look at that. More budget right there. So we're gonna yank that back off. Now that we have the engine in here, man, look at all the detail in that. They really reworked this game a really good amount. So I'm gonna have to go through and get every single part I need to slap this thing together. And I'll show you some of the new cool parts that this thing has with is that thing crooked in the engine bay? Or am I... Oh, I think it's just my camera. No, we're good. Okay. Alright, starting right off the bat here. Shows compatible parts. Need an oil pan. Ooh, we have different colors. Aluminum. Alright, cranking systems. Let's see here, gonna go with street tune. Gotta go with street tune. You can change the color of the uh, harmonic balancer, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, do that. Timing systems. All right, let's see here. We have cylinder heads. No cylinder head gaskets. Imagine that. So, coyote. All right, gonna get that one. This one. We have good cams here. Um, wait a minute. This is a quad cam motor. So is this? Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter. So I definitely need two of those. Okay, it's an intake cam. Here, intake, intake. Okay, here's my exhaust cam shafts, which look identical. We're gonna get two of those. AC compressor, timing guides. We're gonna need those. Need two of these. Aha! Now here's some cool, fun stuff. We can change the colors of all this stuff too. The car is—I don't remember what color the car is. I think I'm gonna go with like a cool blue color on here.
I know like rummaging through all these parts is a little on the boring side of things, but um, I've never built this engine before. I don't supercharger. Oh yeah. Might not do that one right away, but uh, that should be quick enough to switch on over. Change the... Alright, that's a little silly. Alright, so we need that. I'm sure we need this. Definitely need that. We can use this too. Which I'm sure most of this bolts onto that. See, they never really give it to you in the order that you need it. Uh, I'm sure this car has all this stuff. Gonna need that. Gonna need this. That. I hope it has an alternator already. Um, oh wait, it does not. At least I think it doesn't. Um, cooling systems. Not gonna need this. We'll work on radiator. I think we're okay. Um, Alright, new radiator. The one in there looks a little crusty anyway. Cooling systems. Fueling systems. Gonna need a fuel rate. Uh, no nitrous right now. Intake systems. Now, check all this out. We have a cone air filter, um, regular stock intake manifold with a variety of colors. We have this awesome thing. Velocity stacks. I have no idea how that works, but that is sick as hell. Um, might just throw it on there for aesthetics for half a second. Mm. Now, we're going to save this one for a later date, but it's a twin throttle body. It looks like a turbo intake. Sorry, twin turbo intake. But, again, we'll get to that one at a later date, only if you guys want to see that. Um, oh, air intake pipe. I have to mess with that later. Um, let's see here. Yep, that's the one we need. Um, fueling system intake, boost and chargers. Ah, there we go. A Magnus and supercharger. This stuff is sick right here. Uh, max pressure 3.0 bar. I don't know what that is in pounds. Uh, work range 500 to 12,000 RPMs. That is amazing. Of course, your usual uh, turbochargers up here. Boost and chargers. Braking system. We are set there. Drive line. Let's see here. Do need a flywheel. Screwed that up. High performance clutch. Need a drive shaft. Need a transmission. Ooh. Imagine all wheel drive V8 supercharged. You know, I mean, that would be pretty sick. Really sick. So, let's see here. What else do I need? Exhaust system. Do need exhaust manifolds for this monster. Yeah, look at those. We're going to look at those later. Um, let's see here. Center mufflers. I um, believe this car has a single outlet exhaust. We're going to go with this. Trust the process here. This is going to be cool. Um, let's see here. Since we have a V8, we have to have something cool back here. Um, exhausted miscellaneous. Ooh, gotta have an oil filter. Oh, I was like, what did I do? We do need this. Engine kits. Now, there is a complete engine, but, ah, there it is. 5.2 liter right there. So, it is a 5.2 liter Coyote motor. I thought the Coyotes were 5 O's, but I don't know. I'm a Chevy guy, so I don't have the, uh, uh, all the Ford stuff memorized. But this is all the basic bare bones stuff. Um, which is usual, which is typical for all their uh, crate motors. There's a 1.8 liter, 3.5 V6. They don't have one for the inline six, but hey, thirty-two thousand dollars, and we have a complete engine here. All right, now I need all of this in here. Uh, I'm going to put the car up on the lifter. It's gonna bitch about that. So, you know what, I'm going to time lapse throwing all this in here until I get to a point of talking because it's the same thing. Hit my first problem here, downing side, right. Is there a left side? Okay. Um, let's see here. Timing systems. Okay. Um, compatible parts. Okay, unless I have missed something here. Exhaust camshaft, exhaust camshaft. When I click on the intake one, it says mounting site, left, right. When I click on this, it's a. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I need it both instead of just one. <sighs> so, how is everyone's year going so far? I know this is only like my second or third video for the year. Um, but a lot of that I filmed before the first of the year. <laughs> um, there's so many things I need to catch up on. It's not even funny. <sighs> Again, I do not know how this thing goes together. Of course, I need to change the lift. 
Um, so many things I need to catch up on. Last year kind of went out with a fizzle, which is per perfectly fine with me. Um, air compressor. No, of course I can't put that on. Or anything I can put on. Can I put the timing chain on? Okay, what? Why did it give me two mounting points? That was weird. Alright. Ah, timing cover. Alright, we are... We are doing stuff now. Oh, look at that. It looks great with the green color on this car. And hey, look at that. I don't have mismatched panels or anything. I get to keep the cool color that's on here. Um, let's see here. Ooh, can I put the computer in? Yes, I can. Um, starter. Yep, knew that was going to happen. Okay. So I have the timing cover on. Can I put this on now? Yes, I can. Holy crap, it actually did go on. Um, tensioner. How many of those do I need? <laughs> okay, we're starting to get to, uh, car mechanic simulator levels of, uh, accessory drives on this thing. <laughs> okay, don't need that. Nope, can't do that. How about an oil filter? Of course. Is there anything else I can do on top of the engine? We can do exhaust manifolds. Okay, that works. That is on there. Propeller shaft. I'm really starting to get to the point where I need to go underneath the car. Um, oh, here. Let's just throw this on for kicks and giggles. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Um, I'm missing a water crossover piece here. That's perfectly fine. Um, I think what I might do is uh, we can run it with the stock intake and see what that does. And then, uh, how about for the grand finale, we put the uh, velocity stacks on there and see what that does. Ooh, this can come out, because that's gross. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, look at that. Much better. Brand new. Um, did I put, yeah, put the pulley on there. Alternator. I'll put that on. Okay, starter. Can I do that? Nope, I cannot do that. Um, electrical wiring. Can I do that part? Ah, yes, I can. Man, look at all the detail in it. That is just... Man, that's just... I mean, even... Like, the three little wires. I mean, this is some awesome detail. This game has really come a long way. And honestly, I almost prefer this over uh, Car Mechanic Simulator. Because it's not really simulating anything. Oh. What? I can't put in the timing chain tensioners? This engine isn't going to run too well. <laughs> Alright, um, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Okay, uh, I guess this game will let you put it together wrong. Okay, that can go on. Oil pan can now go... Don't do that. That'll make the game freeze. Okay, can I do this? No, I cannot. Drive belt. No. Drive belt. No. Oh, it's the lift thing again. Come on, really? I hate the lift crap. Oh, hey, at least I can do that part. Um... Okay, now can I do the timing guides? Didn't say no. No, okay. I don't know what I just did, but... Drive belt. On. Other drive belt. Uh, oh. You know, I didn't get a water pump. Okay, there we go. Well, that takes care of one side. That side's still open. Um, so let's take a look here. Um, we're gonna have to wait to go back down on the bottom again. Here, here's the intake manifold. Oh, I forgot I got the Magnuson supercharger. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to do that. Um, fuel rail mount you. Um, throttle body. Now, don't get fooled. Um, this one, you know, the one that looks like this is the one you need for... Um, this particular intake. I don't know why it's doing the wrong one. Again, this game's in development. I think only one guy makes it as far as I know. Either way, it's still like pretty awesome work. I think the rest of what I need to do is on the bottom of the car. So let me go down there and do what I can there. Top floor, please. Alrighty then. So... Oh my god, why are you doing that? Just don't go anywhere. Don't fall off or anything, please. Alright, so we'll put this muffler tip on here. Yeah, place you there. Well, here you guys can actually get a really good look as to what I was talking about earlier. 
Um, let's see here. So we have center mufflers now. Yeah, there's a much better and improved uh, piping system that I was messing around with the other day. Um, it's really, really good stuff now. All right, so we have that prop shaft. It's really interesting how they call different things different, like names in different places. Like, you know, propeller shaft over here, we call it a, a drive shaft. You know, it's it's really neat. Um, let's see here. So now I can do the fun part. So it says exhaust pipe, and if you guys ever mess with these couplers, it was a pain to mess with, but this actually says it's exhaust. So here's the exhaust manifold, and it actually auto connects now, which is really, really awesome. Oh, wow, there's actually little muffler clamps on there. So as you can see, oh no, it's hitting the firewall a little bit. Well, I can do this. I can add a joint in there. And I can actually move this to where I need to go this way. I need to go this way a lot. And it needs a little bit of polish, but other than that, it is not horrible at all. But now you can see it's clearanced and no longer hitting anything, which is really, really good. Now, this is me being picky. That's just how I am. I think I did the wrong one. You know what? I'm just gonna pretend we didn't do that. Um, edits. <laughs> See, that's what I get for trying too hard. All right, I think that's about where I had it before. So you can see it's clearance. It's not hitting the firewall, not hitting the transmission or anything. I don't know why that's not lined up, but again, still in development. Um, all right, so we're done with that one. I can add this one, if it'll Let's put it there, and put it there, and as you can see, it's hitting the firewall again, so we need to, need to fix that. I know this isn't uh, awesome burnouts like you guys want to see, but I'm just having way too much fun. You have no idea how much this is pain-free. This is probably one of the most awesome things I have ever seen in a car video game to like, make custom exhaust. I just wish that we could like straight pipe this thing and like make it to where we can put our own end on it, which would be really sick. Now, I think for the first time in this game, we actually have like a full complete exhaust system in a vehicle. Now, this kind of stuff bothers me where it like goes through stuff like this, so I'm going to loop it around here. I actually did this on the uh, Pacima in uh, uh, BMG Drive. That will be in a video coming out soon. Uh, for Meme and G Drive, I've been getting really better at my modeling skills um, for that game. Oh yeah, so it's a little dark under here, so I can't really see. But it needs to go there. So I don't know how many of my fans actually play this game. I know there's a handful of you, and some of you have been wanting me to do a video on this for a while now, but. There just hasn't really been much updates. There was one where you can repair stuff. It seems like every time I try it, the game crashes and crashes with a giant ball of flames. So I haven't really messed with that much. But as you can see, we have a fully clearanced exhaust system. Now, now there is a dual exhaust setup, but I think that's for more the Mercedes, BMWs, maybe the Katerra. I'm not sure. Um... But hey, the exhaust system is done. I think I am actually completely done on the bottom side of the car. Ooh, can put on the oil filter. Bam. Okay. So I think... Oh my god, guys. We're like two seconds away from burnouts. All right. Oh, wow. Would you just look at that? Would you just look at it? You know what? There's a better way to fix this. Okay, so I left my game and came back, so this is fixed now. I'm not worried about hurting that at all. All right, so I think we are ready for burnouts now. Um, I can't put an air filter on that for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Um, I'm tired of saying it, but again, it's in development. I wish there was a way where we could, like, almost kind of like the way the pipe system used to work, or, like, have a... Aha! No, wait. Here's where it is. Like, the cone air filter. Have a spot where you can, like, place it and rotate it and move it. Put it there, and then you can pipe it any whichever way you want. That would be cool. Because I love... 
What I love the absolute most is creative freedom. I think that is one of the most awesome things to have the ability to do. So we're going to go check out the dining room and see how much a V8 makes with, you know, little extra goodies under the hood. So we're going to start with the stock intake. We're going to do the tunnel ram intake, and then we're going to move up to the Magnuson supercharger. Oh my god, holy crap. That's really loud. Oh wow. Woo! Oh, that is sick. 629 horsepower, 5500 RPM. Um, torque is about five, uh, 615 at 5000. We just doubled our horsepower with a V8. Two more cylinders, uh, all the extra goodies underneath. Sorry, I'm yelling. It's really loud in the dyno cell. Um, so now what we need to do is, is I need to pull this intake manifold off. And we're going to put the tunnel ram on here. What? Oh, throttle. I know it's not trying to be mean, but it's like, eh, I'm like, no, just, all right, come on. All right, so we have that again. Oh, I don't need a throttle body this time because it has its own. Oh, yeah. Dude. I kind of like that. But I want to put this in like a ridiculously tiny car. My, I love putting giant engines in really tiny cars. I just think that is the sickest thing ever. Um, you know, something kind of like the Hemi Grammy. Like, it's, it's really cool. You know, this is kind of the right color for that. But nevertheless, let's jump back into the dyno cell. I think it was like 640 horsepower. So let's see what the, what the dyno does with this improved intake on it. All right, will it make 700? Or is it going to be exactly the same? Oh, wow. Okay. So, our bottom end looks kind of the same. We made only about 15 more horsepower with that. Again, that's not horrible. It's really not bad at all. Man, I love the idle on this engine. This is really wicked. Oh, man. So, I th we do have the option for twin turbos, but I'm not going to do it all in one episode. Um, I would like to do a wackier build than this. I don't know what other cars to do. I know the uh, squared-off four-door will take it. Maybe we can do a... Uh, I don't know. Leave me a comment. Which car, not this one, should I do the twin turbo in? I have a car in mind that I want to do, but I don't know if the engine will go in it. But, my God, this stuff is just so cool. Oh, yeah. It's already making the supercharger sound. Why is it doing that? Stop that. It's just so weird. Stop it. Damn it. All right, so now we have the supercharger belt installed. All right, that's really weirding me out. Stop making that sound already. <laughs> I feel like this thing's about to explode. You guys probably can't hear it, but it's making a really weird supercharger sound. All right, so 655 is our last number to beat. Let's see what it does now. Oh, wow. Oh, man. 710 horsepower. Oh, you know what? Wait, there's something I totally forgot to do. Hang on. I totally forgot to turn the screws on it. So 710 is our high score now. All right. So, tuning. Click on you. Oh, all the way up. 3.0 bar. Hang on. Let me do math on that. What's that in PSI? Because I don't know what bar is. Oh, my God. That's 43 pounds of boost. This engine is going to explode. I don't know if you can actually explode engines in this game, but holy crap, this thing is going to make all of the beans. All right. Ooh. Man, you put a stall converter in that. Oh my god, is it going to break a thousand? 911. That's a good number to have considering. How much power this thing's gonna make? Holy crap! 911 horsepower. 
You know, I'm gonna do some tuning off camera and see if I can improve that at all because I used to have like the magical touch on this stuff But they've changed the game so much. I don't know if I have the magical touch anymore. All right, so I've tweaked it a little bit Let's see how much better it does Oh Okay, it didn't like my tuning Wow, if you guys seen the settings this was at, you'd be like, how is this thing even running? No, I think that's something within the game, because here, let, let me show you the settings I did. Now, if any of you have ever actually tuned an engine or a car, um, that know a little bit about this stuff, uh, mixture ratio, which if that's, you know, actual, you know, stoichiometric air-fuel ratio, this is a good measurement for, you know, like an actual race engine. It was at, like, zero when I started, so I don't... I don't know what the dealio is here. I mean, maybe it wants to be more lean. This is, I mean, this would actually make your engine explode in real life. So I don't know if they're under the impression that the bigger the number, the better. The bigger the number is actually worse. But we can try that. We can try raising up the fuel consumption a little bit. But that was really all I changed. Let's try it again and see if that works there. See, I'm going off of real life when I tune this. The number just keeps getting lower. I screwed it up. Okay, see, here we go. This is what I started out with. And as you can see, these measurements are not correct at all. But if I go back to the dyno cell, we're going to get our 911 again. At least we should, in theory. I picked up a horsepower. All right, you know what, enough of this monkeying around. How about we do some awesome burnouts and I'll actually do a race this time. Yeah, it's an actual race. All right, so let's take a gander here. All right, where do I wanna go to do burnouts? I think there's a uh, parking lot. Yep, there it is. Oh man, listen to that. They camera angles are really weird why can't I rev the engine oh it's arrow keys um, I'd love to use my Xbox controller but it actually died on me there we go what no come on this isn't there we go Well, this thing should have more torque than that. This is so cool. All right, let's go race this thing. So I know I mentioned something about a race, but uh, I'm like out of gas. I'm just trying to find a gas station so I can actually do a race. And I can't help but think, like this thing like barking the tires the way that it is. This thing would be so cool if it actually had like a big ginormous blower sticking out of the hood. Wait, I think. And I am out of gas. Damn it. And that's the gas station right there where that cop is. Come on, car, you can do it. <laughs> Come on. All I need to get is right there. Come on. Oh, so close. Please don't pull me over. I just need to get right here. Okay, thank God. Oh, uh, just fill the damn thing up. Right, I probably should have saved before I did this, but oh my god, this is so loud, I can't hear anything. 
Alright. I know I've done this race a lot, and it's kind of... Oh, my God. Oh, man. This thing has no traction at all. Alright, so this race is flawed, so I'll probably win anyway, but I just want to see what the potential of this thing is. My God. If I had the controller, I could modulate my throttle a little bit, but I'm stuck on keyboard. No, don't hit the... Oh. That's fine. We're okay. There we go. I have traction in fourth gear. No, no. My gosh, it's really slidey. Why is it so slidey? Why? See, look, I'm in first place already. Oh, quit honking at me. Here, fifth gear. Do I have traction in fifth gear? Nope, I have no traction in fifth gear. Why is this thing sliding so bad? My tire's bald already. Stop spinning out, my god. Oh, don't hit the K-Rail. No, don't hit that either. Oh, damn it, I hit it. I have to completely be off the throttle in the corners or it'll spin. No, 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 no. Oh, man. What? Is my car, like, indestructible now or what? I have hit so much stuff and my car is not damaged at all. Because usually I'm, uh, I'm into this for like crashing the cars, but damn it, did I miss a checkpoint somewhere? Where are all my checkpoints? Oh, I didn't hit the start line. Are you kidding me? No, oh, come on. I can't believe I'm being beat by all these itty bitty little cars. My God, this thing has bad gas mileage. I've already burned through half a tank of fuel. God, what do I have to put on here? Drag slicks? If I had better steering in my controller, this thing would probably be really sick at drifting. Oh, uh, I need to go to a GameStop or something. This is sucks so bad. Crap. Come on. Here, screw it. We'll, we'll just do the race backwards. Uh, I don't think those are my car parts. This should not be possible. This shouldn't work like this, but it is. I'm doing better going backwards than forwards. This game. <laughs> Alright, well, if you ever want to win at a game like this, just get an overpowered 240 and just drive it backwards the whole race. I'm not getting passed anymore. Don't hit the... Okay. Thank God I didn't hit the barrier. Where is everybody? Oh, there's uh, two of them. Why does the front of my car have so much drift? Wait, hang on a second. Alright, so I changed the setting on here. This did not improve anything. What in the hell? Hang on. Maybe it's backwards like everything else. Alright, if you're wondering, the settings I'm changing is the oversteer level. Which... No, it's still just as bad. Actually, it feels slightly better. Ouch. What the hell? Is this car indestructible now? I mean, usually this thing can be all beat to hell, but... <sighs> My god, this is ridiculous. Alright, here. It's the last lap. I'm gonna win five grand anyway, so... What in the hell? I did not do that. The car is steering on its own now. And I just ran out of gas. Are you kidding me? I ran out of gas again. Here, push me. Damn it. Ha! 
<laughs> oh my, what's, wait, is the, what's wrong with the wheel on that car? Oh my god, this is chaotic. There, I won. I got pushed across the finish line, but I won. Okay, wow, how ridiculous that was. How much tread do I have back here? 83%? Oh my god, I do not understand why this thing spins so... Never mind. I know exactly why this thing spins as bad as it does. But hey, this was really fun for me. I think this is going to be an awesome part of this game now. I mean, it's really... It's going to do a lot for it. Like, people have been craving a V8 for this game for a long time. Me, honestly, I'd rather have a Chevy Swamp Block with a carburetor. But hey, this is honestly the perfect recipe for this game. This is what this game needed. Um, yeah, I there's honestly nothing more I can say. This thing kind of speaks for itself. And if you're wondering about hood clearance, um, yeah, it doesn't fit. <laughs> this does not fit at all. And here's what's funny. There are no hoods that actually fit over this. The developer either has no plans to make a hood that will fit this or... Um, just haven't done it yet, but either way, I think this is really cool. I'd love to make, like, a nice little sleeper or something. Like, something that you wouldn't expect to find this in. I wish my controller worked. I think that would have made this a much better experience for me. But, um, yeah, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Now, stay tuned. I will be doing another episode on this one soon. I know I said that last time, and I haven't played it in, like, three months. I'm very sorry for that, but this is exciting stuff right here. This is really cool. So, there is a twin turbo setup I want to try out, but I don't know if I'll do it on this car or if I do it on another car. Either way, I'm super excited and I can't wait to do more with this. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Help me pick out a car that you think this engine would go really good in. Um, now, again, I don't know which cars can take this engine. I have to experiment around a little bit, but hey, here we are. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.